What's going on everybody? I am the Random Hero and today what I'm going to show you is a video discussing an application uh, and what this application is is called Moonlight. Now what Moonlight does can't really see it but take my word for it, it's called Moonlight. Um, what the application does is basically allows you to stream from the shield or from your PC to the shield. Uh, and why that's important is because you do have the option of the NVIDIA stream but that is $8 a month. Now $8 a month is not a lot but when you have other applications that do it for free you know why why pay the $8? That's kind of my my argument on that. So I'm going to load it up and what you're going to see is and obviously you have to have a PC that's able to stream or your whole you know the whole thing is kind of pointless so you can see my computer right there random PC and they will have games that are immediately I, I don't know immediately is not really the right word but um, I guess uh, they're on like the list that says confirmed that can be streamed so we have some here so we have Call of Duty Black Ops we have Black Ops 2 um, and these are obviously games that are currently installed on my PC um, we have Far Cry 3, Blood Dragon, um, and then you just have Steam over here, which you can go in, and there are other games available that are not necessarily here. Now, what I ran into is, let's say you have like an Origin game, right? So, Origin, they don't have, like you can't get to Origin from here. So, what you have to do is, if you go to Steam, and it's gonna load up Steam. It's gonna. It's basically, you know. And you have to have a 5G connection to your PC. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to Library, and you can see here. So Need for Speed: The Run. I've been playing that. I just finished it today, actually. Um, but this is a, a Origin game. So what you have to do is you have to go into Steam and activate a or add a game that's a third-party, you know, option. Basically, selecting the icon. That way, it allows you to go to it. Otherwise, you won't see it and you won't be able to play it. Um, the streaming works really well. Honestly, it really does. Um, obviously, it depends on your computer and the and your Wi-Fi connection as well. Let's just uh, let's just load up Injustice. Um, it doesn't take very long. This, you know, the um, the shield is not. A couple bedrooms over, a couple rooms. This is my living room, and then you got my office, which is a couple rooms down the hall. Um, that's where my PC is. Um, I got a hardwire connection there and a wireless connection here to the shield. Um, as you can see, like I said, it, it loads up fairly quick, um, and I haven't really seen any problems with it. And like I said, you can use the the NVIDIA Stream app as well, which allows you to, from what they've said, is access it from different um, what is it, different locations, you know, whether it's, you know, we'll just go into single fight here, um, let's just do single fight, like I said, everything's just, it's, it's just instant, there's not, and it actually it will tell you once you disconnect, um, it will tell you what kind of latency you had, so usually it's a five millisecond, four millisecond is what I've seen, um, Okay. Yeah, but very very cool app. Like I said, it is is it a free app? I think I just asked a question. No. <laughs> it is a free app on the uh, on the app store. So you can download it. Um, you know, like I said, I the main reason I look for it is just that it's just kinda it seems kinda shitty, you know, to you know, to want to stream from, you know, your own PC to, uh, to out here, you know, to your in shield or in shield, yeah. English work well for me. But yeah, this game is uh, badass, by the way. Um, so yeah, it works really well. Let's just uh, let's go ahead and get out of here. Exit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to quit, and then, like I said, what it does is it'll bring up, after we exit Steam, it'll say, 
Like if we go back to the main window here, window, Jesus. So stop streaming. And you can actually see it. It does say NVIDIA Game Stream, but like I said, it's using the other one. So terminated. And then right there, it says the latency, which was a two millisecond latency. So, um, yeah, like I said, it streams well. There's no lag. You know, I play, you know, racing games as well. Don't see any problem. Let's just open up Grid. Uh, and the games load up well. I mean, basically what you're doing is you're putting Steam into big picture mode um, on your PC. Because what I've noticed sometimes is when you're doing this, that the mouse will be in the way or in the middle of the screen. And you can actually just go in there and move it. Or a lot of times it'll just disappear based on the game. Um, now, you can go into Steam also, and there's games that it'll show you what they need to play uh, as far as the... Uh, as far as whether it's a keyboard game or it's a, um, like a gamepad, like a controller. Um, because there are games, for instance, that 